Uh, we do these uh, breakfast about uh, three or four times a year, and I think this is our second second breakfast we're having for this year. So a hearty welcome to everybody, and I hope you have enjoyed the breakfast. There's more more food there, so uh, when you've finished here, if you're still hungry, please help yourself to that. <clears throat> okay, we do these breakfast uh, uh, sessions to introduce new products um, in the market. Uh, Exxon Soft, which is a VMS program, a video management program. And uh, we have uh, with us uh, Astamir and... Hey to everybody, thank you very much for invite. I'm very glad to be here, I'm very glad to be in a partnership with you, with all of you guys, and uh, I'll have maybe 20-30 minutes to show our software, who we are, and if you will have any questions, just ask me afterwards. I will not go very deeply technical, I'll just briefly show everything what we have, but then if you are more interested in specific area, or if you are more interested in specific, for example, solution, just let me know and I will talk in more details about that. Uh, so Exxonsoft is uh, video management software. We are, our headquarter is in Moscow, but we have offices in uh, about 43, of 43 countries all over the world, and we have uh, legal entity in South Africa as well. We have uh, branches in Johannesburg, in Pretoria, and in Hilton. Uh, so we, we've we done more than 170 safe cities projects all over the world. One of the biggest one is uh, in Moscow currently. It's uh, more, more than 200,000 cameras in one system, which monitor you when you land at the airport, then you sit in the taxi on the road, then you go to your hotel, in the hotel, then you go to do some shoppings. All the shoppings are there as well. So everywhere. Um, this, you see our map, so where we have uh, local representatives, actually, all over the world. We do about 1.5 thousand installations of our software monthly, with more than a million channels already, cameras already activated. So we'll quickly talk about our unique selling points. Um, I think here the most powerful is a powerful script language. Uh, what does it mean? So our software support their own script language. So if you need to adjust our software regarding to your needs, regarding to your project, you can do it. So we have our development team and they can write a script straight away and they can adjust our software regarding to your needs. Uh, one time licensing and no maintenance fees. Also quite important because majority of the competitors, they charge you for any updates, they charge you for any upgrades of the software. In Exxonsoft, it's like your mobile application. So once you downloaded it today, for example, in a couple of weeks, you can just go and update it for free. We, every week we have hot fixes where we fix some bugs, where we put some new analytics and so on. So you can just update it and you will receive all of this. For free. Uh, what is important here, I think support on VIV protocol. So ExxonSoft was one of the companies who was actually created on VIV protocol. It was actually one security company who was involved in it. Another company was a huge worldwide companies like Panasonic and mm -hmm. others. So we know how to work with on VIV protocol. What means that we support majority of the camera brands in the market. So you don't need to, to go to your client or you go to someone and say you must buy specifically this camera or you must buy specifically that camera you can just go and say okay you have a mild side Bosch and this one no problem we can integrate all of them or we can support them by on VIV or, or RTSP protocol um, I will talk about all of this in details later yeah we're in a big cooperation recently with all these brands we'll skip it Seagate, I know they're here as well. 
a lot of patterns we've done uh, last year, like nine. Okay. I will show you uh, one video. In this video, you can see a scenario how our software can help for safe city for any big project, let's say in South Africa. So in this video, you have a real video footage where the guy was notified that he was stealing something from the ATM or from the shop. But people couldn't see his face. They just noticed that this guy was wearing black jacket and he was moving from ATM to that direction. That's it. So I will show you what we were doing. So you have an archive, three days archive, ten hours archive. So normally what you do if some crime happens, you go to archive and you watch your Hollywood movies of the crime afterwards. So now you choose analytic, moving from one area to another area. So now you will be able to see all human beings or cars moving from that area to that area. Now you've noticed that that man was wearing black jacket. So he specified color, black jacket. And now you only see people wearing black jacket moving from that area to that area. So we picked up that guy. We zoom in, we make a screenshot of his face. This is a suspect. We've done the same for number plate. Okay, now we have his face and we have a number plate. It's a Moscow. We have uh, 200,000 cameras now connected to the same system. You see them all. So what you do, you upload his photo or you put the number plate here in the searching panel and it starts searching all 200,000 cameras which are on the same network and you get in your results okay this camera one the car was past this camera at 10 o'clock you can see on the map at 10 o'clock this car was here at 10:35, another camera notified this man in two kilometers away from there so now you can route his way where he was going what time his car passed that camera? What time he passed this camera? The more camera you have in the same system, in the same network, the more accurate and the, the, the faster you will catch this man. The same you do for face recognition. So you upload his face in the database, you put similarity, let's say 75%, you've got result. Let's decrease similarity to 50% and we'll pick him up even wearing hat or wearing glasses. He's, by the way, trying to withdraw some money from the ATM. And we work with banks as well. So we integrate ATM cameras, and now we see that this guy was doing something with the ATMs. So now we see we can track him with his face as well. He was, he was coming to that shop five minutes ago, he was coming to this shop ten minutes ago. Firstly, it was designed for police. So police has our software. And they can see, okay, five minutes ago, this guy was here. He was doing something at the ATM. And they will just send the police and they will sort him out quickly. Okay. Moment quest. The same scenario, but different analytics. As I said, you have a lot of archive video. Normally, if something happens, you go to archive and in 24 hours you search for event. Here, what you can do, you know that the criminal or you know that someone who you're looking for, he crossed that line and you know the direction was that one or that one. So you draw this line and you see all results of people and car who crossed that line. You see time, you see the interval. So you can choose one day, 10 hours, Whatever, it doesn't matter. Now you can specify human being. So you don't need to 
see cars which cross the only human being. So you put human being and you see only human being who cross that line. Okay, now you've noticed that, for example, it, it was a car and the car was red. You don't remember number plate, but you just remember that it was a red car. So you specify color and now you see when the red car crossed that line. And now imagine if you don't have this analytics, you need to 24 hours search, search for this red car, and it will take a lot of time. <coughs> okay. Uh, this area, for example, if in specific area, it's only allowed it certain amount of people to be, for example, four people. So you specify four, and it will show you when it's four people there. Maybe there is a place where people work with cash, or there is a place where there is a cash and it must be only one people here. So now if someone else will come, the analytics will identify it's two people now, but it's only allowed at one, and it will give you alerts live, or you can search it in the archive as well. Also, moving from one area to another area. This is a parking, for example. And this is a car, stolen car, it was moving that direction. So you set up both direction, you click search and you can see all human being or all cars going from that one area to another area. Let me skip it. This feature, time compressor, what we've recently patented, uh, let me give you an example. You have a lot of videos, three days videos, and you need to search now for or something but you don't know is that somebody crossed that line what was his face what was did he move from that area to that you don't know anything you just know that you need to search here for 10 hours for example so what our time compressor does you have a camera view you have archive for certain amount of hours so you go here and you click on the time compressor and it shows you all movements of cars, human beings, all of them, simultaneously. And then if you find someone, okay, I'm looking for that guy. You just click and it shows you the video, when he was there, what he was doing. And you can see all of them simultaneously. The same car. This car was here at 10.36, but it was there at 11 o'clock, for example. This man was here at 10.35. So we've designed it, firstly, specifically for police to make a search very quick, very quick, but now everybody uses it. Retail, for example. Uh, someone was stolen here, and they need to search. What will they do? They will put time compressor, and they will see all movements in this area, when people was moving, moving, and they will quickly see who took this item, very quickly. To give you another example, this is our the head of our development team. So he was moving up and down, up and down, 20 minutes. Taking this stuff, putting there, but you can see all his movements in one minute, 20 seconds, something like that. Out of zoom, easy enough, you have any movements, and the software automatically moves and check the guys who are moving in the area. Very quick, very easy, understandable. Dwarf, nice feature when you have a fisheye camera and you want to see the view. 360 degrees. With our software, what you can do, you can dewarp this view for four different cameras. But it's a one camera, but it looks like it's a four different cameras, and you buy only one license. So you're not buying four different camera license, only one. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to dewarp it even more. So now you have a one camera, and you have a nine different views, but it's just a one license and one view. And look at the CPU. CPU is still 4%. But if you will connect nine different cameras, the CPU will never be 4%. It will increase for sure. Another feature. Another feature is interactive 3D map. So if you have a site and you have a schematic map of your site, uh, and you have a lot of cameras, 200 cameras, and if something happened for control room people, sometimes it's difficult to identify where is it because they have a lot of cameras. But what you can do, 
you can have a Google Maps or you can have a schematic maps of the area and you can place the cameras on this schematic map. So now if something happens, you don't even need to stream 24 hours. Just this camera will start flash. So that means something happened here. So you click on it and you get in the video, live video from that area. So what's happened? So you can see on the map. The same immersion mode. So you can have 3D map and you can have 2D map. So you can have these cameras on the map. You can click on them and you can nicely see them, what's going on. So you don't need a lot of knowledge actually to be trained or something to understand how it works, to click on it. To be like a deep technical guy, you don't need all of this. Second track, nice feature when you have uh, one uh, bullet camera which tags somebody and you have another PTZ camera which tracks somebody. So the guy will walk through your perimeter, but the cameras, all cameras will automatically move and track him. Intel QuickSync. We're in a big cooperation with Intel globally. So what we've done recently, we integrate this feature Intel QuickSync, so we up our performance eight times. So if majority of the software solution and other solution will, say, will tell you to stream in 700 access cameras in full HD resolution, you need 67 Core i5 servers, 67 servers to stream all of them. Now, after integrating Intel QuickSync, you need the same server, but now only eight. So we up our performance eight times. Offline analytics, very nice feature. Uh, when something happened, but you have there some DVRs on NVRs without any analytics. So what you can do, you can go, you can take video recordings from this camera, you can upload these video recordings to the server with ExxonSoft, and you can still do line crossing search, you can still do face search, LPR search, when Exxon wasn't even installed there, but you can do it offline. Storyboard, really interesting. Okay. Um, neural network. Next big thing, a future and actually present already of the surveillance. So what it is? This is your normal CCTV. You can see all these movements of trees, all movements of cars, all movements. It's a false alarms. It's a false, false alarms to your clients, it's a false alarms to your companies, to control room. Because it will all, like more normal motion detection. So what do we do now? We have a case. In this case, we need to identify only human being. So when human being will come, it only human being must be alerted. If it's cars, no. If it's trees, no. If it's animals, no. So I teach neural network here, and I said, this is the trees again, but these trees are not detected, so it's not a false alarm. You see car. Car is not detected as well. But now look at these people. They are detected. So now the software will only identify human being. It can tell you difference between human being, animals, human being, and cars, and so on. It's a big thing in the CCTV, and people don't even understand how big will be in the future. Because let, let me give you this example. It's a one secret NDA project in Korea. So they, have, they do some poison stuff there. And you see all this smoke. And uh, that means that normal CCTV will detect this smoke as a motion detection. So you will be receiving hundreds of false alarm. So what we've done there, we teach our system not to detect this smoke, but to detect only people who are moving here, who are walking in the dangerous area. So now it's only detect human, it doesn't detect other stuff. <coughs> How you can use it? Uniforms. Let's say mines. In the mines, it's mandatory to wear these uh, hats to protect yourself. So now you teach system that everybody who is moving in this area, they must wear this hat. So if someone is coming and he is not wearing this white hat, get, get alerts. In this area, in this area, it's only people wearing this uniform allowed it to be. So now, if someone will come who is not wearing special uniform, it gives you alert as well. This is the power of this uh, neural network. Smoke detector, fire detector. Neural network can do that even without smoke or fire detector itself. So it can see 
If the fire is there, the neural analytics detect it and it can give the alert. Embedded ExxonSoft is uh, what we are busy with now. So we want to have a serverless system. So where we will be able to put analytics inside the camera. So all our features, what I've shown you, are going to be inside the cameras quickly soon. Do some, some of them already. Tag and track in the archive. Also quite nice feature when you have an archive and you want to do tag and track in the archive. Let's skip it. Exonet, cloud. Also quite important and also one like new feature. Uh, you have client here, for example, in Johannesburg. You install Exxon, Exxon Soft here. Now, you have a, another, you see you, your business owner, and you're in Cape Town, and you want to see what's going on in your cameras. So normally, to see Exxon Soft, you need a VPN connection or fixed IP addresses to see what's going on. Now, what you can do, you can go to server, you can get the password from this server, and you can give this password to someone who needs to monitor it. And he can go to his browser using his mobile or using his uh, hotel network, and you are able to see Exxon server even remotely without having VPN connection between them. You can get notification there, you can change license key there, you can do a lot of things. Uh, because in South Africa it's quite Sometimes we experience problems with fixed IP addresses, with VPN connections, and so on and so on. One thing what we don't do, and what we will not do in the nearest future, is to send video recordings to the cloud. Because majority of our cloud, they are huge, thousand cameras, information is confidential. And they tell us straight, we don't want our recordings to be somewhere in the cloud where someone can go and hack it or take this video we want them to be here on site with the nice hard drives and so on so that's things we will not do for now this is actually how it can, it can look like the normal client uh, control room web layouts so also you will be able to do your moving from one area to another face face search, color search in the browser. So without installing Exxon. So as a client, you will go to browser and you will be able to do all of this in the browser. GDPR. Next thing, it's quite important now and it's very, very mandatory in uh, Europe. And it's here now. How, how is it called? Pop-up or in, in South Poppy. Africa? Poppy. Poppy. Yes. Poppy. So if someone, if you're a business owner and if someone will come to you and he will tell you, you know, I don't want my face to be in the video recordings. You must delete it. Regarding to law now, in Europe, you must delete it. If you can't, they will take about 10% of your year revenue, something like that, from your business. So nothing will happen with Exxon Soft or with the software. But with the business owner, they will take his money big time. And all majority of the brands, Hikvision, Dawa, all of this big, 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 they weren't ready. They weren't, they weren't ready for this. And uh, their developers, they're all now pushing, pushing, pushing to be able to delete the face from the archive. Because you cannot just go and delete part of the archive. You can't, because something can happen there. So what we can do now, if someone is moving like this, and I will tell them I don't need my face to be there. So in Exxon Soft, now we can just mask his face. And that's it. He will still move, will not delete any recordings, but you will not be able to see his face. So this is how we GDPR compliant. <coughs> Appearance search also also quite nice feature. We'll talk about it later. PTZ analytics also quite important, and uh, I don't even tell you now who can who can do PTZ analytics. So you have a PTZ camera. PTZ camera moving. Let's say every thirty seconds, up and down, up and down. So now you have a perimeter protection. So if someone will cross that line, you must be notified. Now, if you have a PTZ camera, and this PTZ camera moving all the time, so the anal all analytics in the world, they will detect these movements as a motion detection. They will detect these movements as a line crossing. So you will receive plenty false alarm. So what we can do, 
You have a PTZ camera and every 30 seconds it's moving. So we're writing script quickly and every 30 seconds we switch off analytic for one second. So it's coming, it's live again. So it's moving, we switch it off. It's coming on the position, we switch on uh, analytic again. So we are not receiving hundreds of false alarms when it's coming by presets, when it's moving by presets. <clears throat> okay, for us, it doesn't matter location of the hardware, number of cameras, number of users, number of workstation, it doesn't matter. As I told you, the biggest one is more than 200,000 cameras with 11,000 servers in the same building with about maybe eight or 10 uh, people who are monitoring all these 200,000 games. Why? Because they're not watching 20, 24 hours. They just watch events. So if events come in, they'll okay, okay, let's sort it out. Okay, let's sort that out. So they're not watching. That's why you can reduce human elements. Uh, as I said, we integrate and we work with the majority of the camera brands in the market. About 10,000 already integrated into our system. Most of them, but it's just some of them. Uh, we, if we didn't, didn't integrate this camera yet, we can all the time connect it by on VIF protocol, or we can connect it by RTSP. If it, if it does not support on VIF, or if it does not support RTSP, maybe it's a 12, 20 or 30 years old camera, but you can still, if the project is right, we can still integrate it, it's not a problem. When the other company, they'll say, no, 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 no. If it's not support on VIF, then we will not work with that. Multi-streaming, quickly saying you can have a few streams. So one stream with a high resolution you can use for events. Average resolution you can, you can have for recordings and a low resolution you can have for streaming all the time. So you can save your bandwidth, you can save your terabytes of your memory, and so on, let's keep it. Section. Video backup, also quite important because you in South Africa have a lot of problems with power, electricity. So if something happens with electricity, you will not lose your recordings. You can have a video storage expansion. So you can automatically or by schedules, you can do every seven days, for example, backup of your recordings not in, in order not to lose them. Also, we can do ad storage. So if the camera have a... Uh, SD cards itself, and if something happened with the server, it, it burned, for example, so we can save the recordings to SD card. Then we can synchronize it with the server when it's we fix it. Failover, next, next big feature. So if you have a two servers, you know in Dubai, they recently had a law. So if something, you have a hotel. So if something happened with your server, power problem or anything, it's burned, so you only have less than one minute to sort it out. So you cannot lose your recordings for more than one minute. Otherwise, they will come and they will close your hotel. So we had a lot of hotels there and it was a challenge for us, but we, we're happy because now we can do that. So if you have uh, 200 cameras and you have two servers, so one server work with 100 cameras, another server work with another 100 cameras. So now if something happened with one of them, you're not losing recordings from these 100 cameras. They'll automatically go and they'll save to another working servers. But then when you will fix this burned server, they'll go and back automatically save it. So it take quick. So you're not losing your recording if something happened. Uh, what should I show here? Okay, control abandoned or lost items. Also quite nice feature. We use it for retail, we use it for the airports. So if something we it was one terroristic attack recently, maybe seven months ago, maybe, in the airport in Russia. So one guy he was having a, like a bag. So he was moving and he just left his bag and he was going like somewhere. So what's happened, let's say this is the guy, and he left his bag for a certain period, 30 seconds, 40 seconds. He left the bag and we have a control room there. And it starts flashing red. So someone left his item for more than 30 seconds. So we pick it up, we report to the people responsible for security, and they went there, it was bombed there. It was bombed there, and it, it's not even one case. It's quite a few cases how this abandoned or lost items works. Integrated monitoring model. Okay, we have uh, mobile applications for Android and iOS, so you can download it even now, and you can see demo videos, demo cameras there. You can see your business, you can get notifications on your mobile app, you can have a map there, you can do face search there. So our guys are busy working there, and every 
maybe 10 days, one week, they do some updates, upgrades of the software. We do access, access control and file alarms as well. So we do integration. So let me give you an example. This is a building, one building in um, Chile by NDA. You have a seven floors. You have access control integrated into ExxonSoft. You have a file alarms integrated. You have a face recognition for access control. You have everything there. And you have a seven floors. And you have a schematic map of each floor. And on this schematic map, you place the cameras where they are, actually. And now, if something happens, you're receiving like a attention, panic alarm. And look at the floor. The floor starts flashing as well. So what means that this floor is a problem. So you click on the floor and you're getting a problem camera or problem detector or fire detector. So what means that here is a problem. So fire detector starts flashing. So you click on it and you can see what's going on in live. And all of the uh, events, they're locked. So you will be able to see them later. Photo ID, how it works. It works for access control. You have one door here and you have one camera here. And you have uh, your staff, 10 people. You upload their picture into database and you have a camera with a dry connection to the lock, to the door. So now if someone will stay in front of the camera and his face will recognize, door will automatically open without even having access control. Then if his face is not recognized and he's trying to open this door, it will give the alert. So for your cash and transit, for your ATMs and so on, it's a big stuff. Work time and attendance, also a nice feature when you have uh, one camera at the entrance, one camera at the exit, and you have uh, pictures of your staff with the name and position. So now if a guy is coming to work at 7 a.m., the software automatically records his time, his name, position, and so on. And he's leaving work, for example, at 6 p.m., the software is also making records. He left uh, at this time, or he was on the break during that time to that time. No, it's Perfect stuff for management to see holidays, absences, working hours, and so on and so on, without having access control itself. Okay, if someone will come to you and say, I have a software, ask them, can you guys make a difference between smoke from the car and smoke from the cigarette? And you will receive your answer, because we can do that. So you have a smoke here, it's a tunnel. So if someone will smoke in the tunnel, or if something like a fire happen in the tunnel, we will notify it. But if the car will just keep having some smoke and stuff like that from the car, we will not pick it up. Retail, big stuff. So if you have a point of sale, you can integrate this point of sale into ExxonSoft system. Now, if this woman scans something, let's say she scan toilet paper, and all this information is coming here. So she scanned toilet paper, quantity is one, 10 rands, for example. Then, if this man will come and, and he will tell you, you know what, she didn't scan toilet paper for me. You must give me money back. So what you do with normal CCTV, you have 30 tills. And you must go and search all of these tills 24 hours all of that. Now, what you do, you go to searching panel, you put toilet paper here and you're receiving all video footages where the toilet paper was sold. And now you can see it's a wreck, toilet paper. And you can see all other stuff. You can see all the receipt, what was sold to this man. So you can come to him and you can say, this is the video recordings when the toilet paper was sold to you. And this is all your receipt and all stuff what was sold to you. Next big thing, have you heard about sweethearting? What you designed specifically for South Africa. <laughs> This is the woman, the Kesha. What she's doing, there is a barcode here. So she cover a barcode and she make a simulation of scanning and she gives stuff to her parents, brother, sister, spars. We, we, we found out one spar. They can lose about half a million rand monthly for this sweetheart event because they cannot track it. So if you're not scanning, so you will not be able to see, did they give it to him, did they not give it to him? Millions. So now what's happened? You have an area of interest. So if this woman will make a simulation of scanning, but we will not receiving 
teacher in three months you will have on, on already more results better results in four months you will have 80 percent accuracy and so on and so on people behavior we use it for detail as well for example people counting you have one camera here at the entrance doesn't matter what camera is it you just need to look at the entrance and exit like this at the end of the day you can have a report how many people came to your business how many people in how many people out you come in it's calculated you come out it's calculated as well then you can just get your PDF or your Excel with all of this graph with all of this information <clears throat> next thing uh, generate alarm on the camera so if for example in this area it's not allowed that people, I don't know, special people who is wearing the red stuff to come. So if someone who is coming there and he was wearing, for example, a red jacket, but he's not allowed it to, it can give you alert. Cue management. You have your tills. I go also to some spars and they, they have plenty tills, but two of them are working. <laughs> and there is a queue 100 meters and you must wait. So now what's happened, you can put our analytics there. You can set up a louded number of people standing in the queue. So now, if this allowed number will exceed, then it will give you alert, like uh, the queue line is overloaded. Please open next till, for example. Heat zones. Uh, you have business, and you need to know which area are the more popular here, or this place. If people will stop here more, it would be hot. On the, on the report. If people are not interested in this area because there is nothing here, it will be cold, cold spot. So now for business, you can put your promotions there, you can put your hot offers and sales there. So it's a nice stuff for marketing as well. Then you can have all kinds of web reports. Customer activity, the area activity, here is 42% activity. This is a graph about activity, average number of people in that area. That a lot of stuff. Face recognition. We have face recognition as well. And by the way, all of this in one in one system. So if you go to majority of the competition, brilliant companies, they can tell you, I can do face red, that's fine. I can do access control, that's also fine. I can do fire detector or smoke detector, that's also fine. But you need something in the one system. Because you don't need to have 25 technical support, you don't need to have 25, pay 25 times for different people because it will be more expensive for sure. <clears throat> so how it works, you have a camera and you have a people, for example, in, uh, they're not allowed to enter this place, they're criminals, for example. Look at this guy, he was de detected for 95% accuracy, it can give you, and look now, I'll stop, you may think that this woman was recognized. The software doesn't work. The script software doesn't work. We don't need to buy it. We also was thinking, what's happened? Why it recognized this woman and why it gives us alert? Then we start to do some research. We connect police. And you know what's happened? They told us that they lost each other, these people. And it's a brother and sister. And it was at the airport. And they contact both of them and they told them, what happened? And they have the same surname, and it's actually brother and sister. So the software identifies about 2,000 points of your face, and it can give you similarities. So the software gives us similarity. We didn't even know why, but it, it said that it's a brother and sister. You can have different statistical reports also by age. How many people this age came to you? How many women were there? How many men were there? You can do face search in the archive as well. So how it works, for example, you have a face of potential criminal and you have a lot of pictures, as I showed you before. You upload this face and you start searching in the all cameras in the same network. Anti-sabotage detector, so you have ATM. And if someone covered his face in front of ATM or he came to the bank covering his face, but if someone is coming, his face must be recognized but his face wasn't recognized. You can get alerts as well. It helps with this uh, balaclava things. Okay, uh, almost last model is uh, LPR. So we have a number plate recognition here as well. We support more than 200 cameras as well as all African countries and South Africa. 
So you have a number of stolen cars, database of stolen cars or criminals. So if someone is coming to you, his number plate is recognized, it gives you alert. Easy. You use it for access control as well. So you have a boom gate and uh, you have a certain cars who are allowed it to come in and you have a guard, security guard. So you upload all this uh, number plate into database. Now you have a boom gate. And you connect the camera into boom gate, also using dry connection sometimes, input, output. If the boom gate support input, output, and the camera support input, output, you don't even need to do integration. So now, if the car is coming and the number plate is recognized, boom will automatically open. So you don't need the guard who's sitting there doing something. You just need him for visitors. Traffic violations. You know, in some, let's say Russia, okay, uh, you have a road and you have a stop line. So if the car will stop on the stop line, boom, ExxonSoft will make a screenshot, it will send it to police, maybe in 10 minutes. In two days, you're receiving a letter from police with your number plate, with a picture when you cross the stop line, 2,000 rand you must pay. So if you pay, in 14 days, you're getting 50% 50% discount. If you're not paying in about three months, then try to go abroad. They will stop you at the customs and they will tell you, you have tickets. Yes, you can throw your tickets away because you didn't pay these taxes. Because after you pay them, it needs at least one month to proceed all this stuff. So you are not able to go abroad because you didn't pay for your funds. Now, they have access to our bank cards as well, to our bank account as well. So if you're not paying your fines for more than six months, they'll just take your money from your bank without even letting you know. <laughs> so improper lane change, for example, improper parking, running a red light, all of this can be detected, and it's important. The joke is joke, but it's important because a lot of people are dying because of this. A lot of people are drunk, driving, and so on. We don't have, we don't have now. Number plate recognition, the interface, how it works. So you have a car into database, so it, it recognizes, it gives you alert. It starts flashing red. If in a certain area it's not allowed it to stop, but now if the car will stop there for 30 seconds, for example. So what will happen? You draw this line where it's not allowed it to stop. Car will stop there 30 seconds. You get notification as well. Let's keep it. Railway <coughs> wagon number plate recognition, container recognition, cargo recognition also available. Uh, PTZ camera also quite nice stuff. When the PTZ is moving up and down and checking improper parking and the parking spots where it's empty or no. Last solution, ATM solution. We do. Lot of integration with ATM, the big one of the biggest banks. Actually, what we've done was about about 2,000 branches all over the country with about 9,500 ATMs integrated. So what we do, we do integration with anti-skimming devices. We do integration with vibration detectors. If someone is shaking it, if someone is standing near an ATM for more than two minutes, if someone is heating it, if someone is trying to do some uh, something with the card without with wearing balaclava for example all of this quickly quickly we identify but can you believe 9500 cameras streaming all the time you can't so what we've designed specifically for them it's like a table so all of this is atms and you can see here red flashing button that means that the thermal detector identified something that one means that the anti-skimming device detects something that one means that, for example, someone is standing by ATM for more than 10, 10 minutes or something. So now if you can click on one of, one of these red buttons, you get in live video. So you don't need to stream the video all the time. Just get these flash buttons with events, then click on it, and then you see this idiot who is trying to crash the ATM. <laughs> you can do uh, all kinds of reports, reports by transaction, all of this easily. We do now some project with the Ministry of Defense where you have some criminals and these criminals are wearing these bracers. So they're not allowed to, to come, for example, to this area or they're not allowed to leave that area. So now we can geo-track them 
and we can see where he is so we can track this man. Um, okay, that's it. I'll have like two, three minutes. I'll show you some of our case studies so you will have a more or less understanding what we've done recently. Also, you need to understand that about 90% of our projects, they're confidential. So we are not able to share this information, but all of this, what you can see, you can allow it, you can, you can share that. World Cup, any problems? We officially got a lot of videos and a lot of uh, things from ISIS. You're gonna bomb all your stadiums. You don't go to Russia for World Cup. Have you heard about any crimes there? Have you heard about nothing? Because we've done more than 10,000 cameras in all stadiums, in all places where these football players were living. Access control, fire alarms, space recognition, all of this. All of the stadiums. Key project recently, what we've done in Africa, let's say Tunisia. We've done one of the biggest banks there with uh, 1,500 cameras and ATMs. A retail chain, one of, one of it's about 1.7 thousand cameras. Echo Bank in Kenya, actually the friend bank with your net bank for the inner cooperation. Uh, they have offices in 36 countries. We've done one, and now they want to expand to all 36 South African countries. Already more than 3,000 cameras sold. Diamond Trust Bank, the biggest private bank in Tanzania, 1.2 thousand. Telecommunication company in Kenya, 4,000. Uh, banking in Tunisia, 700. Safe city in South Korea. If South Korea is buying our software from Russia, that means something, I think, because these people understand something about surveillance, you know, these Korean people. So it's 2.5 thousand recently what we've done, one safe city. And it's nice, the video wall, you can see it here. You can monitor them, there are people who all the time check in something. Residential apartment, also with video wall, 5,000 different residents. Abu Dhabi National Oil Company, 1.2 thousand. Petroleum Institute, 1.2. Charger Rula Palace, Charger Safe City. Yeah. Ikea, Hermes Outlets, something in the Middle East. Few of them. It is a lot we're busy with, 130,000, also telecommunication. Different resorts, Dubai World Trade Center, da da da. You can read it here. Something in Iran one of the biggest bank in Iran with 1.2 thousand. Uh, gold, gold mines, also quite a lot. Some hospitals, Cambridge University as a reference, nice one. Reference, we do uh, our Harvard University as well. We replace the, our competitors, Milestone, with about 400 cameras, and they are from this country, and we came, Russian company, and we represent. it's a big achievement, actually. Uh, key project in Asia. We do Jakarta Smart City, we do some airports there, Gimpo Airport in Korea, some project in uh, Australia, some gold mines, a lot of ports with container recognitions. The biggest, official biggest, official biggest uh, pro retail project in the world. So, so 3,000 supermarkets across the country with 72,000 cameras, 15,000 point of sale. It's maybe like all spars in the country, plus all checkers in the country, plus all movers in the country, all together. A lot of stuff in uh, Latin America, Mexico Highway, Argentina, Mexico prison, and so on and so on. Nice stuff what we do for police. They have a mo mobile application, and they want to check, is this number plate is uh, like stolen or whatever? So they have a number plate, uh, a mobile app, and they make it live. Check. They make a picture and they automatically check in, in, the, in the database. Is it stolen car or whatever? The same they do in the car. You see it's Exxon Intellect installed there, and they have a computer in the car. And they have one camera looking front. So they check in the number plate recognition straight when they're driving from the database what they have. So if they're, they're driving and they see the stolen car and they see the potential criminal, they stop him. Uh, a lot of retail stuff. Uh, we'll skip this little project, less than 500 cameras. Um, mm -hmm. The biggest uh, petrol station, what we've done, it's uh, 850 gates, like British Petroleum here in South Africa, for example. 
we sold them about 20,000, 27,000 cameras with about 12,000 LPR channels. Like your, all your engine, all this, they don't have analytics. So you can put your cameras there, you can put Exxon Soft there. I don't understand sometimes. Uh, Italy. <laughs> we do a lot of uh, projects in Italy, like Safe City Milan, for example, Safe City Turin, 5,000 cameras. Mm, let's skip all of this little stuff. Gold mines in Greece, a lot of gold mines actually we do. A lot of airports, plenty airports. Morocco, one we've done recently. Euro, <coughs> soccer championship. Let's skip all the jails, undergrounds, undergrounds in UK. Railway, railway in Italy, Pan American Highway. Ports, a lot of ports with container recognitions, a lot of banks. Let me skip all of this. Okay, last things, or I will show you what recently was watching on the somewhere in the movies, in the Hollywood movies. It's a drone. It's Russian, by the way, but it's understandable. So what's happening? They have drones and they, they do face recognition with drone, object recognition and so on. So for us, a couple of years ago, it was only in American movies. Now, confidential, no views, no photos, nothing. You have Exxon Intellect and you connect this Exxon Intellect to a drone. Any drone which can send some streams outside. For example, you have a drone and this drone is able to send some streams by RTSP protocol, for example, to YouTube or whatever it is. That means you can send it to ExxonSoft as well. Now, you have a face recognition in ExxonSoft and this drone can fly without human element. It can fly and it can make a face recognition of this guy. Boom, his face is recognized. Now what I will do here, I will zoom out and you will see the distance from where we pick up his face. This is the future, future of surveillance, for sure. The same we can do for number plate recognition. So we zoom in, we fly, we zoom in, we do number plate recognition. Number plate recognize. If it's a criminal, for example, you have a huge estate and you don't need cars to be there somewhere and you want to see who is there, who is coming. So you do a number plate recognition and he's a resident, for example, and he's allowed it to come, you click button and the boom will open, something like that. <coughs> the number plate is recognized and you can, if you can see at the distance where it was recognized, the distance is huge. That's it. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any questions, please. Okay, thank you, Mr. Mir. I think that South Korea thing was just a bribe to get into the World Cup. Okay, now uh, it is with pleasure I call Iban to talk about uh, module post, the electric fencing system that's manufactured in South Africa. Thank you very much, Ibi. Is everybody uh, able to hear me at the back?
I'm gonna I'm gonna at some stage need um, both of my hands, so I'll maybe just put the, the microphone down just to explain and, and demonstrate some of the um, the features of the of the post. But uh, let me first off start by saying, AB, thank you very much for the opportunity. Um, we've been looking forward to um, to seeing all of you people here and uh, presenting our product. Um, I hope that um, after the presentation everybody would be as excited about the product as what I am. I cannot guarantee it though, but, but let's try. Um, a little bit of background about myself. Um, I've been in the, in the security industry for quite a number of years um, before I went back to IT. And in particular, I've been in installing electric fencing products. And I think the pet peeve that I had with electric fence installations is that sometimes you've got to customize your, your products to fit the installation. And to do that is quite a cumbersome uh, task because sometimes you just don't have the tools, number one, on site to, to do the customization, and number two, you damage the post when you, when you try to customize it. And that's where the idea of designing something like, like that was born.